You just got to quit tripping while you're in the process because the process is necessary. You may not see it now, but when he gets you on the other side of it, you're going to see exactly why it went that way. And you're going to be okay with it. But quit tripping during the process. Oh, Lord, why me? You ain't the only one. Oh, Lord, why me? You ain't the only one. Oh, Lord, why I lose my job? You ain't the only one unemployed. Oh, Lord, why he leave me? You ain't the first chick got left. This might not even be your last time getting left. Pull yourself together and quit tripping because you're in the process. God is processing you. He ain't through with you. If he was through with you, you would not wake up in the morning. I look back on my life at all that I've been through. So the stuff I'm currently going through, I have built up enough reservoir that living in the car taught me that this ain't it. So the things I'm going through now, I know this ain't it. That he gonna come get me in a minute. So all I gotta do is sit tight. I ain't in a bad place. Now I ain't where I wanna be, but the spot I'm in is better than where I was. I ain't homeless. So what I'm going through right now, y'all don't know, I got some challenges. People think when you get famous or rich that your problems is over. Oh, they got a whole new set of them for you. They got some stuff you ain't seen. Biggie wrote a song, said one time, more, more, more money, more problems. I, I got to tell you something, that boy wasn't never lying. But I'll tell you the truth right now. The problems I got right now, i take them. Because the problems I had when I was homeless, I don't want them no more. See, m- money, money going to change your life a little bit, folks. All of you are going to get more. But you got to ask for it. The Bible says you have not because you ask not. It didn't say you have not because you don't make enough. It didn't say you have you have not because your credit ain't straight. It simply said you have not because you ask not. But you don't ask because you ain't got that together. When you ask God for something, quit tripping. He got it from here. But now God can't give you what you want because you want to hold on to what you got. You all in the way. Now you telling him how to bless you. You can't tell God how to bless you. It's a simple process. The only reason I'm telling you this, because this is how I made it. I just do me. I just, I'm just being me. I stay uniquely who I am because you are okay just the way you are. Because you, God made you uniquely who you are. He wanted you to be just like you are. I mean, really, man. If you look at life and just step outside for a minute and quit tripping. I think that's the part that young people don't get. Like, I talked to a lot of young acts today. I ain't doing that. That didn't pay enough. Did you hear what you said? You said it don't pay enough. But it pays. If you don't take the gig, you're going to get zero. Inch by inch, anything's a cinch. You got to take steps, man. It's hard to get young people to understand that. I want what you got now. You can't have what I got now. Yeah, I tell my kids all the time. Me and my kids, we have this discussion. It take a long time to make a lot of money. If you think you're just going to make a lot of money real fast, you're going to be constantly disappointed. It takes a long time to make money. I've been in this business since I was 27 years old. I'm 64. You missed the three years I was living in the car. You, you didn't see that. You missed when I lost everything I ever owned twice. You missed the two divorces. You missed me flunking out of school. You missed all that. You see this now. This ain't how it worked now. 
Yeah, oh, it look easy. Yeah, I'll make it look easy. This is hard. Come out here. Go, come to this corner quitting guarantees the failure once you quit it it, it it rules out any chance of succeeding the mere waking up every day putting the next foot in front of the next foot at least keeps you in the game and if God is waking you up continually every morning once God wakes you up, that's a sign from God that he ain't through with you yet. That he has something more for you in store that he hasn't given to you yet. That's why you wake up every day. All you got to do is understand that. Because look at this. The moment God is done, when you served your purpose here, you won't wake up. But if you keep waking up, don't you understand that there's a higher purpose?